Hey fellow world warriors, it's Angry Turtle and today's video is about holotape games because I just realized I never covered this topic and I actually like arcade gaming, retro gaming. If you don't know what holotape games are, you can find them under holotapes and the difference between audio holotape and holotape game is the size of the cassette. Like you can see that's the holotape and that's a holotape game. Some of them have a cover, some of them don't, but all of them have this size. Then those are the holotape games. We'll jump into some of them to show you what those holotape games are about. But first, if you need to collect them, how you collect them? It's basically the same as collecting magazines. The only difference between collecting magazines and collecting holotape games Sometimes you pick up a Robco Fan magazine and that's not a magazine, that's actually a holotape game. You will not get a magazine, but you will get a holotape game. And how you collect the magazines? I will link somewhere on the screen here uh, my guide to collecting magazines. But basically you equip a perk, fan a pictographist and then wander around whenever you hear the sound. You go for the magazine, you pick it up, and it's always random. Sometimes it's a normal magazine, sometimes it's a holotape game. There is eight holotape games to collect, then if you don't have them yet, carry on and collect them. And you can play them directly from a pip boy Like, basically, you go under any holotape game, you click on it, and it starts. And this is first one, Atomic Command. And this is a really cool one. You basically need to stop a nuclear missile before they hit the city and destroy the buildings. And then you clear a stage, you have limited number of counter missile and you got your points. We will not play anymore in here. But of course, in this view, it's not really immersive. What you can do to fix that? You can change the peep boy view, but that's still not perfect for me. There is something else you can you can do you can use actual terminal in the world i will show you and here we'll use this terminal inside the west tech you just use it like normally and then press r to load holotype or whatever button is on console and then you choose from the list if you know what you want to play we already played one but now let's test another games that we have wasteland Wasteland is like old style RPG game and I will take a new one to show you how it's look like. Like you are inside a vault now, you have a text, you're choosing the option first, you are recruiting the team. Uh, there are two like that. Maybe I will show you on Grognak example more, but basically you're recruiting the team. You have some choices, then you go on adventure. We'll check out the Grognak a little bit more like a uh, because they basically very same style. One is followed, one is Grognak game. Then we quit this one and we eject holotape and we can load another one. Then we have Zeta Invaders. This is really cool. I like this one, it's classic old style. You basically move on the side and shoot those invaders. And of course the point is to destroy them all and don't let them destroy you. Yeah, that's, I think that's simple. Okay, next one. Pipfall. Let's load the Pipfall holotype game. And here you go, like Indiana Jones, Pipfall. And this is like typical scroll game side to side. You just need to collect bubbleheads. You can go between the screens, can jump. Look at that, look what you can do. And hopefully don't die, that's, that's the idea. Why? Traversing the map, there are two different levels, and I lost two lives already. I'm not good in this game. I collected one bubble head though. Okay, I think that's that's enough. Next. Next we have Red Menace. Let's load this one in. And you can figure out what this game is about. It's like a Kong game. <laughs> yeah, the really good. Really good old classic game, you jump, move aside, avoid the bombs, avoid whatever he's dropping on you. Do you want to pass the level, get to the next one, and I already died, okay, next one. 
Nuka Topper. Let's load it in and show you what this game is about. That's the first one. That This one you should always have, even if you didn't collect any. I think you are getting this one uh, just by uh, exiting Vault 76 or something like that. I'm sure I had it before I was collecting any holotype games then. If something changed, let me know. But I think this one everyone should have. You just serve the drinks. If you like some fresh beer, that's the game for you. Okay, next one. Automatron. Let's load Automatron. And this is cool as well, but this is really hard. But don't forget you just hold the trigger here. It's automatic gun. And you the goal is you should have everything before they eat you. Well, it's definitely that easy. Like, there's way too many robots that moving too fast, but... Yeah, that's the game. Okay, that's enough. And the last one. Grognak and the Ruby Ruins. Load it in. And here you can learn a little bit about Grognak. Not too much, but always. You can start the game. Okay, let's start the new game. Uh, you can see the same idea, the text, like game RPG classic style. It says, you find yourself in a warm but well-kept tavern filled with all manner of folk. It's time to recruit some help for your quest to stop Grelok. To whom will you speak? Maula, Blopo, Swift, Zaxtar or no one? We want to speak with Maula. You dare patronize me? You know full well who I am. Maula, war maiden of Mars. I will draw enemy attacks and help you against Grelok. But this doesn't make us friends. And you can see stats, HP, focus. Focus, it's like a mana you're using to use spells, damage, and initiative. Then you can choose to take her or don't take her. You can take her and then let us talk now of strategy. If you flank left when I go right, we can... Grognak, are you listening? By the stars, why do I even bother? You will just charge in regardless. Then that's how you can learn something about Grognak. As I told you, he's going in, he doesn't wait for the team. Then I was right about that on my video. But yeah, that's that's the Grognak you can recruit and you can recruit one more person. Yeah, your team can be three people. Then you can choose from Blopo, Swift and Zaxter. It will take first one. Will not be choosing a quest, you say? With treasure, I'm your man, as long as the gold keeps flowing. In return, I will make sure enemies are wide open to attacks. HP 36, focus 20, damage 9 to 11, initiative 20. Really high initiative, then he will be moving first. That's what initiative does. Invite Blopo to your team and party, yes. And now we have full team and he says, good. Now about my share. In case of death, send it to the Lockwall Orphanage. Yes, really. Those little tykes depend on the Uncle Popo. And now we have full team. Grognak, Maula and Blopo. After you choose a full team, you are just on the open map. You can go anywhere and of course you can see the spaces that you can get in. We'll just go to the closest one. And here. Buffet in shadows, the chapel is humble and nondescript, except for faintly glowing runes on the walls. As you walk in, a giant bear of a man silently comes up behind you. Talk to him. Welcome. You are in a house of Tain Deck. If you ever require his healing, please return here. In the meantime, feel free to exalt him and you can leave. Then here you can come back for healing, but some of them will, you will encounter combat. Let's find one combat. You face two goblins, one orc and one goblin shaman. A screeching goblin rushes at you with a blood-stained club and round one. Blopo have the highest initiative than his first. You can see in here who's actually making a move. You can attack, you can do dazing strike, meditate, recover. We'll do the dazing strike. Blopo flanks the enemy and lands a crippling strike. 
Bloppo hits the goblin for 10 damage. The goblin is dazed and takes 3 more damage. The goblin hits Bloppo for 11 damage. And you can see my Bloppo lost a little bit HP and used 10 of his focus to do that. Now the Grognak is moving, only 7 HP on the goblin. Then I will use regular attack, it should be good enough. And Grognak hits goblin for 8 damage. Goblin is dazed and takes 3 more damage. The goblin is dead. A screeching goblin rushes at you with a blood-stained club. Round 2. The goblin hits Maula for 9 damage. And Bloppo is moving again. And we can use Dazzling Strike again or save it for Orc. I think Orc is later. Let's do regular attack. Hit goblin for 11 damage. Now Maula is doing her move. Can she do 9 damage? Let's see. Attack. 8 damage. Oh, that's too low, but... Grognak will finish it off. Grognak hits for 13. Grognak is a hard hitter on our team. Goblin dead. Now we have Orc. A snarly Orc. Brand dashing. A rusty axe charges at you recklessly. And Maula first. Aegis stance. Let's use it. Maula moves into Aegis stance and attacks, making her an easy but well protected target. Hits Orc for 14 damage. Perfect. Now we're using Dazing Strike from Bloppo. Bloppo flanks the enemy and plants a crippling strike. Hits the orc for 11 damage. The orc is dazed and takes 4 more damage. The orc hits Bloppo for 15 damage. Oh wow, and Bloppo took a heavy hit from orc. Now the Grognak and we are going to use Furious Rage. Grognak Rage has 4 striking furiously. Grognak hits the orc for 11 damage. The orc is dazed and takes 3 more damage. The orc is dead. A cackling goblin shaman waves his skull. Tap Hexer. Stuff at you. Round 4. And Bloppo again. We cannot use Dazzling Strike anymore. We don't have enough focus. But shaman only has 30 HP. Then we try to just attack. 9 damage. Good. Now Maula. Attack again. 9 damage. Oh, 13 damage. And only 8 HP left and just regular attack from Grognak. Killed. We defeated the Goblin. Goblin Shaman is dead. And we won the battle. We can search for loot and we earn 20 gold. And we have Voodoo Idol initiative plus 2. To whom will you give the Mercurian Voodoo Idol? And Bloppo already have really high initiative, I think we'll give it to Maula. Yeah, giving it to Maula. And that's it for this combat. We can read what we did before leaving. You set fire to the wooden ramparts, ensuring that no other creatures can use the garrison. And we leave. And this is basically looted. And I will not give you any more spoilers. Those are really cool game. Of course, RPG games my favorite, but I like arcade game a lot and I feel like playing them on actual terminal feels very immersive. I recommend it to you. And I think that's everything for this video. Let me know which holotape game is your favorite. Did you collect all eight holotape games? Did you actually ever play them or did you just collect them and never use them? Yeah, any questions as well? Comment sections. And now, as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.